This is D minus minus, and it's pretty stupid. I mean, it code in food, and the interpreter is a Python script. But we can go further. So what's the obvious next step? Coding in emojis, obviously. So how are we gonna code in emojis? Well, the first problem is that there uh, isn't an emoji key on the keyboard. The only solution is to create my own text editor, which I mean, it's not that hard. It was that hard. No, why? Why is it a square? All right, hopefully it should all work now. We can press this button and it'll type in that emoji. We can then hit Control S to save, and voila, we have an emoji. Now, I just have to duplicate this for every command. Pizza, burger, salad, sushi, tacos, steak, ramen, sandwich, curry, KFC. Now I'll just go ahead and add some numbers, some variables, and we can move on. Mandatory self-promo. Brawlberry is a co-op roguelike dungeon crawler where every encounter is a completely unique boss fight. Unlock powerful upgrades with your friends as you battle through the Fruitscape. Wishlist on Steam today, link in the description. Back to the video. So now that I have a text editor to write emojis, I need to make my interpreter able to read them. So I'm just going to ask you guys a question. Do I A. Use a dictionary, B. Use a lot of if statements, or C. Port my code to JavaScript? I see you. I went with A. After asking ChatGPT how to replace words in a string, it was no problem, and it was time to write some code. Alright, we have our text editor open. So, all the way up to the, um, I think that's grapes, is the commands. Then we have text, number, uh, use, I use that for saying, like, if it's a variable. Uh, we've got the numbers and the variables. So I can click these and it will put in the emojis. So I'm just going to make what I did in my D minus minus video, which was, I think it was top down movement. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So the first step is we need to set some, some variables. So we're going to tacos variable one to 11 and we'll uh, tacos variable two 11. I just realized I forgot to uh, 11 of type number. Gotta remember that. So I guess let's give it a try. So control S to save. And now code.txt has this code. So these ones, I just need to put those in, pretend that didn't happen. And now if we run main.py, all right, looks good so far. All right, we're moving right. Let's see what two does. Alright, we have got a fully working program made out of just emojis. This is this is literally the code. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.